Are, are, the, are the relationships among amongst the uh, you calling it one percent? Yeah, the one percent. Wow. Um, <laughs> are the relationships amongst that one percent any happier and more fulfilling than the the, the rest of us? Yeah, it's far worse. <laughs> far, far worse. And I would say that on both ends, it's far, far worse, particularly for men, particularly for the male end of uh, things, because um, they're bringing a lot to the t- look to, uh, to get the lifestyle the one percent create. It's traveling, it's jet lag, it's uh, years of college, it's lots of bills, it's lots of stress, it's lots of negotiation. For a woman to then access that, all it is is she has to know what he likes sexually, and he she will access that life. It's that simple for her. And she doesn't even have to be, she doesn't have to be somebody who is uh, traditional. She doesn't have to be somebody who is respectful. She doesn't have to be somebody who knows how to cook or is a good mother. When the men become the 1%, they get less critical and less focused on all the other traits and they just focus on their stress relief. And women and sex becomes their stress relief. So that's what they go for. And as a man becomes more successful, in my personal experience, they are far more likely to marry and invest in gold diggers and escorts. They are not looking for wives as they get to the top. They are actually looking for women, human kind of stress relief in the form of just whoever pleases them sexually. Is that really jaded? Yeah, well, you, sound, I, I, you look I think, confused. I think because you're working with that 1%. And yeah. it's, it's a very distorted... It's very distorted. Segment of society. It's very distorted. And and the other thing is it's a real... Hum- like Because it's the opposite of what you get told men want online and it's the opposite of why I used to teach I used to be very much like yeah you know being um, you know reserved being loyal being sexually loyal to your man uh, uh, cooking and cleaning this all matters I realized that it doesn't matter as they get more successful you'll see Drake having a baby with a porn star you'll see Chris Brad, the, the rappers they all have pregnant get like dancers and strippers pregnant because as they become busier their social battery decreases so much that the ability to maintain a normal healthy connection which involves vetting her getting to know her um, communicating with her that all goes down so all they need is somebody who is quite empty and a bit of a bimbo but as long as she looks great and performs great they're relatively happy with that. Yeah, you, you're, you're living in a stratosphere. Of, really? Is that, yeah. Have you not noticed that? As men get more successful, their taste of women gets less and less uh, meaningful. Yeah, I guess. I, mean, I don't know. No? I, I've, I've always been really lucky, so I don't know. Yeah, and but also, I would imagine it also depends on the flashiness of the man. The more flashy he is with the lifestyle, the more he attracts that oh, empty yeah, you, vessel. Oh, yeah, you attract the wrong kind of people. Yeah, you, it's, uh, how he makes his money also matters. How he makes his money and what how he spends his money matters. But if he just happens to be a successful man, I think he'll still look for a deep and meaningful uh, relationship. But if he's one of those men that is in a constant pursuit of money and flash, he is totally fine with the... You, a bimbo that he gets to sleep with and I don't see anything wrong with it it definitely works out in her favor because she gets a great life but um, this is what I've noticed which has been a real kind of um, humbling experience for me which I didn't realize men were like this 